Hello everyone and welcome to this new session. Today I'm going to explain how to import set of coordinates x and y or easting and northing as you can see here in this table in ArcGIS and how to display them on your map. We have here 10 stations, station 1, S1, S2, S3, S4, etc. And I have the coordinates easting and northing in these two columns for each station. I'm going to import them using ArcGIS and then to display them over this satellite image. And then I will explain how to display the label as you can see here for each station. This is the location for station S1. This is for S2. This is the location of station S3, S4, 5, S6, S7, S8, S9, and S10. So let's get started. So now I open ArcMap, as you can see here. And inside this folder, guys, I have a map, which is the field that I'm working in. And I have the coordinates in an Excel file. I will open these. Now just to let you see them, and then I will import them using Excel. Okay, here I have the Excel sheet, sheet one in this file called primary control station, primary CS control stations. I have the coordinates for each station, station one, easting, northing, and elevation or reduced level. And I have for the second one, S2, S3, S, etc. So now I will close this file. And now here, so this is the image of the field. I'm going first to add the, uh, this image and then I'm going to import the XY coordinates. So here from ArcMap guys, let's add data and then I will navigate to the location of the image that I have. I have it here inside this one. This is my image field. So this is the image for my area here. I calculated the coordinates of these control stations using total station and they are now, as you know, saved in an Excel file. Now I'm going to import the Excel file. It's very easy to import these coordinates, guys. You will go to file here, the top left, go to file and then open um, the list and then you will go to add data, as you can see here, guys add data and then add XY data. Okay, click here. And now I have this window. I need to uh, navigate to the location of my Excel file. Okay, so here, this is my Excel file. It's called primary control stations. Okay, I will click add. And then it's asking in which sheet your coordinates are. They are in sheet one, I will add this file. Now guys, I have to provide the software with the name of the field or X coordinates or easting in my case. So I would say the field con containing the X coordinates is called E. And for the Y coordinates, it's called in my case N for northing. So I have easting and northing instead of X and Y. And for the third dimension, the elevation, I have the column called Reduced level, RL. So now I have for X, easting, E. For Y, northing, N. For Z, the elevation, I have RL, reduced level. Now here, if you'd like to double check the uh, map projection information, if you are happy with everything, just click OK. OK. Now I imported my points. They are very small, you can't see them here, just I will remove the background from here. Now these are the 10 points, 10 control stations that I have. Now if I would like to change this symbol, for example, it's easy. Now you need to make it uh, bigger and uh, display it in a better way. I just go to the left here and click on the symbol itself here, guys. Go to the left and click here. You will have here, you will select the symbol that you would like. Let's say that uh, I'm going to select, for example, now this symbol. 
triangle, I would make it larger, for example, 24, the size 24. You can change the color, the size, etc. If you are happy with it, you would say, okay. Okay, now I will display this with a background. Again, you can change the color if you like. You can make it yellow, for example, like this. Okay. Now you have the locations for these 10 control stations. But I don't have the names here. If you would like to display the name of each control station, like S1, S2, S3, etc., you need to go to the properties of this layer. Which one? This one. The sheet layer. Double click here, guys, on the left here. Double click. And then you have the properties of this layer. You can go to labels. As you can see here, you navigate to labels. And simply now, just tick this box, label feature in this layer. Okay, tick this box here, guys, label feature in this layer. And then, now from here, let me just bring this to the left and apply. As you can see here, we have the labels, S10 for this station, S9 for this station. Now also you can change the size and uh, type of this Label. I would try to make the uh, size of the letters, for example, 18. And then I will apply to see them. Okay, look, they are very big now. If you would like to make them smaller a bit, 16. Apply. And then if, I would if you would like to change the position of the label as well, I would make it here exactly on the top of this triangle. So you can go to here, guys. Placement properties here. And then just one click here on the placement properties. And go to change location. Now we are going to change the location of this label, S1 to S10. Now it's uh, located top right. I would make it top center, for example. I would select this one, top center of the triangle. And then I would say OK here and then OK here. Apply to see it. If you are happy with it, that's fine. You can make, make it bold as well. You can change the color here. Apply. And this is the display now. OK, if you are happy with it. Now I have imported these coordinates, these points, and displayed them on my image. As you can see here, now I have each control station from S1 to S10 with its label. This is station S1. Now I know that this is station S1. This is station S2, S3. Of course, you can adjust the colors, guys, as you learned to make them clear to you. S4, S5 here, S6 here, S7 here, S8 here, 9, and finally S10. Okay. Let me remove the background again. As you can see here, these are the 10 stations. So I will change the color now just to let you know how to do it. For example, here, instead of yellow, I would use black, for example. Okay. Now I have black triangles. And for the labels themselves here, you can go to the properties, double click here, and then change the color from here. I will make it black as well. Okay. So I have them from S1 to S10 in black. Now, the last idea for today, guys, if you would like to display here on the top of this uh, triangle or uh, for the location of each control station, if you would like to display the elevation or the reduced level instead of the name of the station. Now here, instead of S8, I would like to see what is the reduced level or the elevation of this station. Simply, you can double click on, on the left here on the layer, double click, okay? And now you would go to the label field guys here, label field. Instead of field one, you would uh, select RL, which is the field for the reduced level. So the field in our Excel file that includes all the reduced levels for these stations is called RL. So I have my field here guys. And now, I would say apply, okay. 
So now I have the elevations of the points of the stations instead of their names. Instead of S1, S2, S3, I have now the elevation of S1, the elevation of S2. Here I have 16 meters. Here I have 13, 12, etc. Let me add the background image. This is the background image again. Okay, guys, I hope this session was useful to you and you learned how to import set of coordinates X and Y or East and North using ArcMap and then display them on your map or plan or satellite image or any kind of data that you have in a good way. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon.